Okay, everybody. I'm going to try to make a video of how you can add a wireless charging capability to your 2015 Silverado 1500. If you have the console in the middle, you will notice that there is a pocket for a cell phone. Um, notice that the Tahoes have that and it's up here somewhere. Um, but I also noticed that inside there is a USB cable connection right there. And I thought it might be simple enough to somehow put a wireless charger in the top of this. So what I did was I started exploring how to do that and basically let me show you this first this is a little wireless charger that I got from Amazon um, and it comes with this little short cord here I'll put a link in the description below but basically it's about that thick um, has a charge port on the back a light on the front so I thought, what if I can put it under here? So let me try to peel this up while I'm holding my phone because I don't have a video recorder. And it looks like that, basically. And there are some screws that you can take out right here. And I'll take those out and then I'll come right back. Okay, so now I took them out. It takes a small Torx head. I don't know what size it is, but it is a small Torx head. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. But um, once you take it out, there is a spot underneath, which looks like to me it will fit something. I noticed there are some little standoffs on the bottom of this, which looks like enough gap. So I'm going to take the insides out of this. I'm going to open it up and just taking these little feet off. There are some screws. I already took the screws out before. And when you take that apart, let me pause this for a second. This is what it looks like inside. So I'll set this aside. I'll take this piece out. And I'm look right now at what it would take. Let's move this out of the way. Sorry if it's shaky. And I'm not like an ex super experienced um, video maker. But maybe I'll just stick these little rubber feet down here to cushion since they came with this. But And I'll stick this inside here. And it looks like, just looking at it, it was almost meant to fit in there. There's a screw hole there and there, and there and there. And there's a, on the bottom, there's these circles that you can see. They would fit here and here. So you can see that it's almost a perfect fit for this particular wireless charger so what I'm gonna do I'm not even gonna glue it or anything just to start with just to see if it'll work let me pause this okay so I stuck it down in there and I'm just gonna tighten these slightly for for right now just just for the heck of it I'm not gonna bear down on them or anything just to kind of see if there's any fitment issues, then later on, I'll 
I'll snug them all down if, if there's no issues. But it looks like it's going to fit. I, these aren't even pushed down. And, the, and even when I do it by hand, it doesn't feel like it's in a bind. So, I ran the cord just through here temporarily. Because I think what I'll do, I'll drill a hole in the inside and come out the back. But, I'll open this up. Actually, I won't even open it. So I got a cigarette lighter right back here. Let me just plug this in. Just for like a proof of concept. And see if it works. I think the key has to be on for this outlet in the back to work. You guys are probably going to be mad at me because I'm making it so jerky. So that went down in there pretty good. I'll set it down on there. This weekend with a group of real people. Apologize for that dinging. Okay, I tested it and it does work. So now I'll run the wire the correct way and tighten things up and I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay everybody, I've got the wire ran through. What I ended up having to do is drill a hole right here, actually two side by side, and I trimmed off with a razor blade, I trimmed off that fat piece of rubber on the uh, connector just to kind of make it so that I didn't have to drill such a large hole in here. And the reason I had to drill that instead of running up under here is because this does not have access from here to here so the only way to do it is to go through here and once you do that I took a tie wrap and I just slid it through here and it popped out back here and what I'll do is I'll run this over to the side underneath and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay folks, I'm going to do my best to video the remaining piece of Basically, it's complete, but I want to show you um, the wire that I ran to power it. So, as you can see, there's the coil down inside there that was on that wireless charger. I'm going to put this back in there. Oh, I have it backwards. So it looks good there. Now remember I drilled a hole through the bottom of this which actually comes out under here. And it's hard to show you all. We'll go in the back seat and show you. Basically there's a little tiny gap and you'll see it. I used a tie wrap in that little space. It's not going to focus. But anyway, once I did that, I ran that wire to this corner. Hope it focuses. And I don't know if you can see it because it's awful dark. But there's the wire right there. And there's some space between the metal hinge and this plastic cover. And what I did was I opened that up a little bit with a uh, plastic fork or spoon or something and just put that wire in between there and it's got a lot of insulation on it so it's gonna basically just stay in there by itself once I ran that in there you can see let's see if I can you can see it in there sorry that it's not that great a light Now, if you look right here, you're going to see that wire came out. Man, this is not going to show up too good. Right there. And I just tucked the excess down. There's a cavity under here. I tucked it down in there. I ran it along here. 
and then now it's plugged in there. So eventually what I'll probably do is I'll get a little clip, clip this over to here because I'm kind of anal sometimes about stuff. And I'll just clip that under there a little bit and I'll be done. But I hope you liked it. I hope somebody gets to do this on their car. It works great. Um, so it's pretty cheap. About $29 is what I paid for that wireless charger. Could probably find a cheaper one on Amazon or something than that. I just happened to have this one actually already laying around. So it really didn't cost me anything. So, um... If you like it, click the like. Um, you can subscribe if you want. I don't put out videos very often. But thanks for watching.